Reddit is one of my favorite platforms for finding disturbing content to cover on this channel. There's an endless supply of disturbing stories among a plethora of subreddits, and sometimes you might just strike gold. You guys seem to love them, and I love them too. So tonight, we'll be covering a few disturbing posts I found on r RBI, the Reddit Bureau of Investigation, where users can go to inquire about almost anything, even the most sinister of topics. On July 20th, 2021, a post would be made to r RBI, detailing a scream that the author of the post had captured on their porch camera. The post contained a Dropbox link that led to the footage you just watched. The story is as follows. At around 8.30 through 8.45, I arrived home from a quick trip to the town to grab a beer. As I got out of the car, I could hear something. I thought for a moment that I had left the TV on and was hearing it from outside, but as I walked to the front of my car and pressed the lock button on the remote, I realized that what I had heard was screaming. I listened for a second, thinking it was somebody screwing around, but then a woman's voice screamed, No, stop. You're hurting me. You're killing me. And an adult male voice yelling something I couldn't make out. There was a dog barking from the same direction as well as a repeated thudding noise. I immediately dialed 911 and told the police. They could even hear the screaming in the background. They said they'd send an officer to drive by, but an hour passed and none came. I watched for them on my security cameras. I pulled the footage from the only one that was set to record constantly. The camera on my back door only records when it detects a humanoid shape, so it caught me making the phone call, and a little of the screaming in the background. The backyard camera caught it all, but is unintelligible due to the outdoor AC unit noise. I cleaned up the audio as best I could, but I need advice on how to proceed. I am attaching a Dropbox link to the video. If you watch it, the screaming was coming from directly where the camera is pointed, but more than 50 feet away, across a narrow field. There's a small shack that has a couple of cars, usually parked at the road just on the other side of the field. It is bothering me a lot since I'm 41 years old and have never heard anything so disturbing in real life. Edit. Updates are in the comments. I talked to the police and they wrote down what I said. I showed them the video. They have copies of it. And I said they should do a welfare check. They also told me to drop it and not to trespass or I would be cited. They said they will handle everything, so I guess I'm just going to have to watch the newspapers and see if anything comes up. That's all I can do. I've done my due diligence, and I really hope everything is actually alright. Update. September 7th. I guess they finally had a reason to go out and check the property I was telling them to look at. There are sheriff's cars all over the place, and cops in gloves walking in and out of the garage, and one cop throwing up in the front yard. I have a picture, but I can't add it to the update. Judging by the title of the post, that being police didn't investigate and it's been bothering me, I can only assume that OP's concerns were not taken seriously by law enforcement. That is, until whatever happened a few months later, on September 7th, and from what OP described, it definitely doesn't sound good. Welp, murder it is. Update, February 6th, 2022. I posted last year about coming home and hearing a female voice screaming for her life. 
I posted a video with the audio of the scream and got plenty of comments. Around two months later, the house that it was coming from had sheriff's cars all around it. I found out that an elderly man had committed via gunshot, that his son was the only person home, and the person who reported that his father had shot himself. Fast forward to last week, I was sitting at home watching YouTube when I heard gunshots. I live in the country and that's common, so I didn't think anything of it. Turns out, it was the sound of that son murdering his mother. He's trying to claim self-defense, but he's being charged with murder. I live next door and my security cameras caught the audio of the murder. It also captures the vehicle the son made his getaway in. I've had detectives in and out gathering video footage for the past week. They are now looking at him for the murder of his father as well. The case has been reopened and they have now recognized that my calls and reports were actually real. Two lives could have been saved. Along with this post, OP provides a link to an article written six days prior. These events took place in Highland County, Ohio, and went down exactly as OP had described. Going through OP's post history, I can confirm that the footage does belong to OP and that he does in fact live in Highland County, so I don't doubt OP's story at all. It's terrifying that this happened, and it's unfortunate that the police did not respond to OP's concerns sooner. And tonight, a grim and heartbreaking discovery in Indiana, which led to an arrest in the Bay Area. A five-year-old boy's body was found in a suitcase in April, but today, Indiana State Police made an arrest in Oakland, a woman with ties to the boy's mother. But the question is, where's mom? The next case was brought to my attention by a post made eight months ago, on May 4th, 2022 which details an unidentified five-year-old boy found dead in a suitcase in Washington County, Indiana. I'm trying to bring more awareness to this case. Please share on all of your platforms if you can. A five-year-old unidentified black male, approximately four feet tall with a slender build and short haircut, was found dead in a Las Vegas-themed suitcase in Washington County, Indiana, 7,000 block of East Holder Road. An initial autopsy has been performed with no cause of death found. Toxicology reports are pending. No additional details on his appearance were provided, but it was stated that he had died around five days before he was found. Police have no leads on this case and are asking the public for any information. If you know anything or think someone might know something, there's a tip line. I have also created a subreddit for this case and will be updating it as new information is shared. You can find the picture of the actual suitcase in that sub since I cannot add a photo to this post for some reason. Please spread the word. r slash boy in suitcase. Going over to OP's new subreddit, we can find a post made one month later by u slash mercy death, detailing everything known so far about the unidentified boy. On Saturday, April 16th, 2020, a man, while mushroom hunting, discovered an out-of-place hard-shell Las Vegas suitcase in the woods near his home. In a heartbreaking interview on local news, Jeff, the man who found the little boy, states his first instinct was to call the police, but told reporters he'd feel like a fool if they got there and it was just a suitcase. Sadly, after opening it, Jeff's worst fears were confirmed. Inside the brightly colored suitcase was the body of a young boy. As of today, the toxicology report found he died from an electrolyte imbalance, most likely caused by vomiting and diarrhea, ultimately leading to dehydration. It would take a few months, but a follow-up post was eventually made to r RBI as detectives had finally identified the five-year-old boy as Cairo Omar Jordan from Atlanta, Georgia. A previous post in this sub had a lot of interaction, so I figured y'all would want an update on this little boy. He had his name back. One suspect in custody, one at large. Information is coming out that his mother believed he had some demon inside of him, and had been performing rituals on him. A quote from Sellersburg, Indiana states, A months-long mystery involving a little boy found dead in a suitcase in southern Indiana has been solved. Police said one person, 
40-year-old Elaine Coleman, was arrested in San Francisco in connection with the case. She's from Louisiana. The boy's mother, identified as 37-year-old Daywan Anderson, remains at large. She's from Georgia. Attempts to locate her have been unsuccessful so far. Both were wanted on charges of neglect of a dependent and obstruction of justice, with warrants being issued on October 14th. A subsequent murder warrant for Anderson was issued on October 25th. Anderson was last known to be in the Echo Park area of Los Angeles, California. OP also includes a link to a news article with a bit more information on Anderson's motives. From Anderson's social media accounts, we can see that she believed a demon was living inside of her son, and that he needed to be killed or exorcised. Stop getting caught up in the vessels of this realm. You guys don't even know it's a full-grown demon in the child's body telling you what to do because you didn't choose your soul. Better start using your third eye. Just because the avatar is of a child does not mean that it is actually a child. There are beings that are here that are not supposed to be here that pick avatars to hide behind to play roles, to steal energy, and to ruin lives. As far as I know, 37-year-old Dehuan Anderson has yet to be caught and is currently on the run. Those two cases were what I mainly wanted to cover in this video, but during my research I stumbled upon two other RBI posts that I wanted to showcase but were unsolved and or too short, so this will be the bonus section. Several bodies in the back of a pickup truck on Google Street View. Location, Helton, Kentucky, USA. When? August 2009. If you enter these coordinates on Google Street View, you should see a pickup truck with what appears to be several bodies in the back. A little down the road, you can see military personnel next to a vehicle with jerry cans. There was a similar case a few years back that turned out to be a US Coast Guard search and rescue dummy. While I do not necessarily believe that these are dead bodies, it may warrant further investigation. In this post made a couple of months ago, OP links us a few images they found while scouring Google Earth, and well, this is definitely strange. To put this in perspective, the top comment draws up a map on Google Earth. The red marker is where the military personnel is located, and the end of the dark blue line in the top left is where the bodies are. Another commenter agrees with OP and explains why the people in the back of the truck probably aren't dead. If you move down the road a bit and look back at the truck, you can see the foot is moved, and that you can make out that someone is leaning over the back of the truck, so they're not dead. As I said beforehand, this is a small case that is currently unsolved to my knowledge, but I agree with OP in that this is probably some sort of training exercise as opposed to a crime scene, but you never know. Our final story is a short one. A woman pulled up in front of my house, got out, and tasered her kid in the back seat. Can anyone ID the make and model of the car? The local news media will be running this story tomorrow. I'd like to be able to give them the make and model of the car since we can't make out the license plate. In the video, we can see a red car parked in front of Opie's house with two doors open. Around 20 seconds into the video, we can hear a taser followed by a kid yelling. The mother proceeds to get back into the driver's seat, flashes the taser to the camera, and presumably drives away. Attached to this post was an update, a link to a news story covering this incident. An eyewitness who may or may not be OP told investigators that although the music was loud, he could hear what sounded like a child moaning in pain. I could see the arm sort of where the light seemed to make contact, he said. Then I could see again what looked like an arm of a child kind of struggling with her in the front seat after it happened. 
The eyewitness called 911, but the car had driven off before they could see the license plate. As far as I know, this case remains unsolved, and the mother has evaded legal punishment. That's it for tonight's dive into r slash RBI. If you enjoy this type of content, then let me know, because I enjoyed making this video. As I mentioned at the start, Reddit is filled to the brim with creepy, horrifying, and downright disturbing content, so I don't think there will ever be a shortage of stories to cover. Also, I'm assuming this will come out before Christmas, so Merry Christmas everyone. As always, thank you for watching, have a good night, and I'll see you next year.